and you join him in every place. How can I? He's, he's the God of redemption. Lord, how can I be part of your redemption today? How can I take that terrible situation and start turning it around? How can I take that problem and turn it around? The one who lets the word come in the most is the one who's going to blossom the most. That's simple. It's not about, it's, it, it, it's simply that. And what, what do you do with a garden? What do you have to do if it's hardened? You got to kind of break it up. You got to soften it. You got to till it. You got to turn it over. You got to kind of shake it up and, and get water in it. Well, sometimes we have to do that with ourselves. The Bible says, break up your fallow ground. Break up your fallow ground. Meaning it's easy to get in a rut. It gets hard. You get in a rut. You're not growing. You're not really open. Break it up. Open up. Break up your routine. Break up the, turn it over. Break up, soften, and Lord, come in. I'm, I'm open. I'm open. Change me. I'm open. Every day, listen, take, at least take one word from God and get it into your life. I don't mean just say it. I don't mean just read it. Get it into your heart. Get it into your life or get it into your action. Get it. Let it soak in because when it soaks in, when the seed soaks in, that's when it blossoms. You got to give time. You got to do. Do you want to blossom? You want to you bear fruit? You want a fruitful life? You got to have the seed. You got to let it in every day. You, it'll change you. One last revelation and key from this mystery. You're not only his garden. Remember what we said. You are his helpmate. You are the helpmate of God. You're like the Eve or the good one, the good Eve. You're the Hava. You're, you're the helpmate. You were born for him. You're born to help him. And, you know, and, and the, the, the mystery Hava, Eve, mean life giver. So if Eve is in the image of Adam, Adam must also be, if she was, she was, he must also be a helpmate to God. We were all born to be God's helpmate. How cool is that? You were made to help God out. To help, how, to, how can you help God? God has chosen for you to be a, a partner with him. His bride, his partner, his, his, his beloved, to help him bring about his purposes. To have a part in his purposes. To have a, part, a partner in life, in redemption. The woman has to, has, was made to be the man's best friend. You're made to be God's best friend. God is to be your best friend. You and him, you're supposed to be best friends. The man, you know, you know, and that means that you know, it's not so much. Yes, he is the God of the universe. He is the King of Kings, the Almighty. The judge, but he's also your best friend. You're wondering how do I pray? I don't know how to relate. I feel. Forget about all that. Just talk to your best friend. Whatever it is, just start talking to him. Don't worry about how to pray. Just talk to him. You'll be praying great. Just talk to him. Like, spill your heart, Lord. Lord, what a day, Lord. I'm feeling this. Just spill your heart. The man and the woman in the garden, image of God, the man and the woman were naked. They had no secrets from each other. There was no hiding. No, that's how it's supposed to be with you and God. Don't keep any secrets. He can't, it doesn't matter how, what sin is. It doesn't matter how, how bad the sin is. He, there's no sin that's going to separate from you from him if you don't give it to him. If you give it to him, it will. If you hold back, then even the, le the least amount of thing is going to separate you. But if you give it to him, no sin is going to separate you. He, he, just give it to him. No hiding. He's not going to be shocked. He's been around for a while. He's not going to be shocked by anything you tell him. Open up. He already knows it. Give it to him as you are. Your relationship has got to be the most intimate relationship with him. You can't be any more intimate than anyone than him. More into it that, that you can tell. It's, the Bible says pour out your heart like waters before the presence of God. Just give it to him. How do you become his helpmate? You look, at, you look at, Lord, what is your will? And I want to help you in it. What's your will? His will is, first of all, that people get saved. So, Lord, I want to help you. I'm not going to sit back anymore. I'm going to actually help you. God will bless you. Be part of spreading the gospel. The Great Commission is the will of God. So, Lord, I want to help you. You don't just sit on the side. You become part of ministry. You fulfill your calling. God called you. His will is love. You help him love. You love others. You love the lost. You love your enemy. He's the gardener. You help him garden the world. You help him sow seeds. It means you help him by sowing the seeds of the word, seeds of the gospel. It means in every situation you're in, you got to treat it like it's a garden, and I'm going to show, I'm going to throw the seeds of God into it. I'm in a problem. It's not just a problem. It's a garden that's a problem, but I'm going to sow seeds of God's answer into it. 
I'm going to sow the seed. What can I, how can I throw the seeds here? I'm going to sow seeds of love here, seeds of hope into this situation, seeds of blessing into that situation. You ask him, Lord, what is your will here? How can I help you today? I want to serve you. I'm going to please you. I want to make you smile today. I'm not just here to kind of stay out of trouble and maintain my walk. I'm here to bless you and bl help you and serve you. What is your will for this situation? What is your will for the purpose instead of how to get by? What's your will for my life? How can I help speed it up, Lord? How can I help not hinder it? How can I get rid of that sin and help speed up the purposes? How do I become a helpmate of God? What you know is not His will, you stop doing it. What you know is His will, you start doing it. And you join him in every place. How can I? He's, he's the God of redemption. Lord, how can I be part of your redemption today? How can I take that terrible situation and start turning it around? How can I take that problem and turn it around? Even in my life, how can I be part of the answer now? The Lord would say to you, the Lord is your gardener. And he would say to you, listen to this. This is, this is a scripture, but it's to you. The Lord will continually guide you and satisfy your life even in dry times. And your life, listen, will become like a well-watered garden, like a spring of life whose waters will never fail. And one more word from the Lord, your gardener and your beloved and the one you are a helpmate to. Listen to what he says. No matter what's been in your life, just let it fall however it falls. This is his word. He says to you, rise, arise, my beloved and my beautiful one, and come away with me. For behold, the winter, your winter is past. Your rains are over and gone. The blossoms have already appeared in the land now. The time has come for singing. The fig tree has ripened its fruit. The voice of the dove, the vines are in blossom and given their fragrance. Arise, my beloved, says the Lord. Arise, my beautiful one, says the Lord, your beloved. And come away with me. Amen and amen. <laughs> Father, we praise you this morning. Thank you. You are awesome and you are wonderful and you are beautiful. And Lord, we thank you that you called us. We thank you that you know us. We thank you that you called us into being. We thank you, Lord, that you gave everything for us. And Lord, that you could come to us again. Lord, we, that you could be one with us and we one with you, Lord. Lord, we commit right now, we're not going to let anything separate us from you. Whatever that is, we're going to give it to you, Lord. We're going to give you everything, Lord, and come into every part of our life. Come into every part. Lord, we want to be blossoming. We want to be fruitful. Lord, we want to receive more of you this week. We want to be in your presence, receiving your, your word, receiving your, your spirit. Lord, receiving all things to blossom, to blossom. Lord, we commit to taking a word every day. It's powerful. And, and it, it changes us. Is it possible that behind the events transforming our nation and your life, New York Times bestselling author Jonathan Kahn reveals the stunning mystery and what it has to do with your life. What does the future hold? The Josiah Manifesto, the ancient mystery and guide for the end times. The book you can't afford not to read. Available wherever books are sold.